Okay. Just uh, brought all the compressor up here on the roof, and I'm going to install it now, pipe it together. I'm going to braze some things together and put it all back together again. But this is what I wanted to point out. That's the east, that's the north, and that's the west. And the south is this way. The sun rises over here. Let me turn it over here. The sun rises over here, travels through the sky here, and sets over there. The hottest part of the day, I don't like it when the sun hits the condenser. So I always put my condensers away from the sun as much as possible, but especially the afternoon sun. It's the hottest part of the day, and we don't need more heat being absorbed into uh, uh, the, the copper tubing because it's facing directly in the sun. A lot of people will do that. I'll go on a roof. One roof I went on, and every single condenser was facing south. But um, it just helps the system out. It, the system, this condenser has to give heat off and it doesn't help when it's gaining heat as it's trying to give it off. Okay, this, this pipe here, it's a little buggered up, so I usually use my fl flare block to round it out. is always good to have so you can see behind it. See I got missed the spot right there. I didn't look look for it. the best finger right there. I mean, a nice uh, switch. This pipe will go in there, and this will go in there. It's good to put the switch down so when you fill it with brazen rod, it floats in. Let's see, I think I'm... Good swedging tool, the best one I've found so far. Some of the other Hillmore products are the metal's kind of uh, flimsy on it, but this small swedging tool does a, the best job that I found. Okay, I think I just have to clean it.
see, this is the reason I clean it. Can you see how the uh, oxidation on this here? You can probably heat it up with the torch. Probably heat it up with the torch and get it to, to uh, get a seal on it. But I'd like to get that off there. cleaned it right down to the I cleaned it right down to the cop, pure copper so it'll take a good braise when it, it's in that condition right there and this this copper here you can see there's oxidation on it I just like to get the uh, oxidation off the outside of it a little bit a headmaster valve. What this does is it mixes the hot gas, this, this is the hot gas discharge line, it mixes some of the hot gas with the liquid line coming back from the condenser. It can get very cold in the winter time. And this will mix some of the hot gas with the cold liquid and keep this the uh, refrigerant warm to keep the pressure up so the system will function properly. Drop the, if you let it too cold, the pressure will drop and then it just doesn't work right. You don't get enough pressure drop across your expansion device. Okay, this is the flux that I like to use for brazing. Stay still. It does get dried up a little bit. And it's my mixing tool. Summertime, especially, this can get dried out. You just have to wet it again. It just needs a drop of water. And we want to get some in. I always use fluxes. Everybody has their methods of doing things. And this is the way I do it. I mean, I'm sure you can get five different guys doing it five different ways. And that's fine. As long as it works. And I'm not saying this is the only way to braise, but this is what I found that's always worked for me. And when you find something that works, you stick with it. A lot of people use uh, oxygen in acetylene. They're and I haven't used an acetylene, oxygen acetylene setup since like 1972. I've always, I always use a, a turbo tip. And let's see, I'm sure I'm using a small one. How does that work? This is a turbo tip. And it sucks, the acetylene gets sprayed up the center and it sucks oxygen in here and at higher rates. So you get oxygen and acetylene and it's free that way. I like these tips because it's a smoother, um, more gradual heat uh, than uh, oxygen. Oxygen settling can be very quick and uh, like the problem with the, that I find with the oxygen settling is it compromises the copper and weakens it if you heat it up too much. And like like these joints here that have been brazed on, 
I'm not taking this out because I'm afraid that at the factory when this is put in, they compromise the copper here. And if I heat this up, the copper will just come apart, It'll just fall apart right there. So that's the main reason I don't use the oxygen settling is I just don't like the uh, uh, intense heat that it. And with this turbo tip, I can usually back off the heat pretty good and uh, build a collar on whatever I'm doing. I don't and I don't get a big lumpy thing. So just my preference. I mean, I'm not saying that oxygen settling is wrong by any means. I'm sure it works fantastic. I just don't uh, particularly use it like it. I'm sure. And please comment about that. I'm sure, I'm sure everybody has their own feelings about it. suction filter and as long as you have a it's got the same material as the dryer filter has in it as long as you have a, a decent uh, dryer filter on the system you really don't need the same material in it so it's just being redundant if you have a problem in the system you just change the dryer filter you don't really need to uh, joint I want to braise over here um, my favorite brazing rod is Dynaflow. I don't know if you can see that. Dynaflow, it's made by Harris. And I believe it's 0% silver. And literally, it flows beautifully, and it's the least expensive. It's, uh, it's not an expensive silver type solder of any. <coughs> I got a little, a little bit of nitrogen going through there. So let's. This is not the largest tip. This is the largest tip, and this is the second largest. And there's a size down. I'll use it for the smaller two. But let me see how this does with this. Easy. Not super fast, but I get I can get the brazen rod to draw in there nicely and fill. And it takes a few seconds to get hot. I'm just starting to take it now. What I'm doing now is I'm backing the heat off to the back of this thing. The heat will draw the braze into the... I'm heating up over here now. And I'm heating up on top. The braze will... get drawn back towards the heat. built up a decent collar around it and I didn't overheat the joint too much and that's particularly important to me that's how I brace 